now in the movie you have a great scene with Bumblebee. Uh, mm-hmm. I won't give it away, but it's, a, it's hilarious watching you play with him. Mm-hmm. Acting with something that's not there. I mean, you've acted with so many great actors throughout your career and great, so many great performances. And I'm not just saying that, I just think mm-hmm. you're a brilliant Thank actor. You. Thank you, sir. Um, is it harder for you to, to do that, or was it easier? And what were you looking at? Okay, if you... Like, if the question is, would I rather act with Shia or the robot, <laughs> yeah. then I'd rather act with Shia, with Shia or okay. or right. Rosie. But when you're an actor, movies have such strange and often stringent sort of technical demands and requirements that you kind of find yourself doing that all the time. Right. Uh, and this, now the technology is so good that they can kind of work around you in a way. Right. Uh, maybe not wholly or fully, but but rather than just you always are running a 360 around this effect, now they can kind of adapt it to you. So for me, it wasn't hard. Michael knew exactly what he wanted, what it was, what he wanted to see done, and how it would come out. So. You know, he's always he was a few steps ahead. It was, it was fantastic. Thank it really you was. Much. Congratulations on the film. Thanks, man. Hey, I, I always wanted to ask you. Uh, I have to ask you. You know, because in the beginning of the film, your character is interviewing Shia LaBeouf, and it's a, it's a very funny scene. I love the pictures you have on the back of the mm-hmm. wall. Do you remember like your first job interview ever? Back when you before you even started out acting, do you remember that first experience? Yeah. Was I, I was. Uh, if I. Well, I I worked. Uh, I was a paper boy, uh, and it was my grandmother's newspaper, so uh, the interview probably wasn't very pleasant. <laughs> but, um, uh, and then I worked at a bookstore, and that one I don't remember, except there was a very pretty proprietress. <laughs> and uh, the first one I really remember is working in an office supply store in, in Evanston, Illinois. Now, when you first are giving him the job in the film, you tell him he has to pay his dues. This is a, this is a stepping stone mm-hmm. to a better job later on in life. Mm-hmm. When you were coming up as an actor and you were, you were getting all of your roles in the 70s and the 80s, well, actually, the 80s is when you, like, when you first like, started doing tons of movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, do, you, do you remember your stepping stone? What was your stepping stone film that got you more notoriety and, and bigger in the business to where you are today, kind of? The first films I did, one was called... The first one I shot was called The Killing Fields, and the second one, uh, which was the first one released, I shot immediately after, was called Places in the Heart, and they were both nominated for Academy Awards, blah, 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 and and, uh, were quite successful. So those were the two first films. 